look at the skills and talents of India. Yes, there is a demand. Indians have established a global reputation. The Indian uh, talent, when it goes outside, is able to fit in with, uh, with the environment, with the work culture of other places. External Affairs Minister S.J. Shankar on Sunday interacted with the Indian diaspora in Sweden and discussed transformations underway in India. He also apprised them about the progress in the bilateral relationship with Sweden on the 75 years of diplomatic ties between the two countries. Diplomatic relations between Sweden and India were established in the year 1948, a year after India became independent. During the 2018 visit of Prime Minister Narendra Modi to Sweden, the two sides adopted a wide-ranging joint action plan and signed a joint innovation partnership. Jashakar is on a three-day visit to Sweden to participate in the EU in the Pacific Ministerial. He is also expected to attend the inaugural session of the India Trilateral Forum involving India, Europe and the US with his Swedish counterpart. In addition, Jashankar will discuss India-EU relations during his visit as Sweden currently holds the presidency of the Council of the European Union. Look at the skills and talents of India. And uh, one of it, one, one aspect of it you could say is yes, there is a demand. But one aspect of it equal is that Indians have established a global reputation. That Indian uh, talent, when it goes outside, is able to fit in with, uh, with the environment, with the work culture of other places. Uh, and, you know, it may interest uh, some of you to know, just yesterday, uh, I actually concluded an agreement with Austria uh, for uh, mobility uh, and migration. So it, it, uh, uh, it finalizes uh, uh, a regime uh, by which uh, Indians working in Austria get the treatment uh, which, which they are entitled to, get the facilities and the protection which uh, you know, our people uh, deserve. And we had done it, I had uh, uh, concluded a similar agreement last December with Germany. So this is a trend that uh, we see happening. Uh, certainly my hope would be that you know, in due course uh, we will see uh, this particular aspect of our uh, relationship with uh, Sweden uh, also advanced. Uh, and uh, uh, as I said, you know, uh, when it comes to uh, conducting uh, international uh, uh, relations, doing diplomacy, in a, in a wide variety of areas, you know, there's a great deal of uh, ease of working with Sweden. In fact, you know, uh, when I look at a, at a forum like the United Nations, uh, we have now for many years uh, a tradition uh, sometimes of uh, moving resolutions in partnership uh, with each other. Uh, there is in fact uh, something called a humanitarian joint resolution which we take turns uh, moving uh, and this is uh, one of the many uh, convergences uh, that we have. So I, I thought, you know, as, as uh, Indians who live here or, uh, you know, uh, whether whatever, whether you're still of you know, Indian nationality or you are settled in Sweden, uh, you are all stakeholders in this relationship. It's important you know, you know, the developments in the relationship, the progress, the prospects of this relationship. So it's actually a very, I would say, a hopeful, positive picture uh, that I'm presenting to you. Uh, I'm very confident that almost uh, by any uh, metric, uh, this relationship will grow rapidly uh, in the years to come. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.